お前ら海賊に行き場所はいらん What is going on, my broskies? My name is Toadskin. I am back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys a breakdown or an overview of all of the brand new units in the brand new Sugar Fest that was announced for the Sakazuki Akainu Sugar Fest. Now, judging by the community's reaction, I could definitely see that this has been one of the most anticipated Sugar Fest ever. Like, if you guys know already, like, have a general idea of what these units do, then you guys already know that this batch of units is really, really strong and it does introduce one of the best legends if not the best legend in the game now my personal opinion I still think time skip Luffy is the best legend in the game but definitely this guy would take the number two position either this guy or time skip Luffy are the best legends in the game so if you guys have some gems definitely go ahead and try and pull for this guy because he is an insane unit and you definitely want him on your crew so let's start things off with breaking down the first unit of this badge being Onigumo 8 Sword Style Navy Vice Admiral. So this guy here is a 5 star unit and is an int driven slasher character and at max level at level 99 he has 25 98 HP, 1383 attack and 225 recovery. He has 30 cost and he does have 4 socket spots. Now his captain ability will reduce the cooldown of all specials by 2 turns at the start of the fight and then boost the attack of slashes and driven characters by 1 1.6 times now if they have both of those classes then it's a 1.6 times 1.6 boost so it's not just like he's just a 1.6 times booster you have to multiply 1.6 times for a slasher but if they're slasher and driven or if they're a driven and slasher then they get 1.6 times 1.6 so Honestly, it's not a terrible captain ability because there are definitely a lot of driven slashing units. Honestly, it's probably one of the most predominant type combinations in One Piece Treasure Cruise. Definitely Fighter Powerhouse and Driven Slasher are the two most predominant ones that I've seen. Now, let's move on to his special ability. So, it will start off at 15 turns and will max at 9 turns. And what it does is it will randomize recovery, tandem, and bomb orbs. Then, it will make strength, dex, and quick orbs beneficial to driven and slasher characters for the next two turns. So honestly, this isn't a bad ability at all it can definitely help out both driven and slasher teams especially if you don't have really good orb manipulation as it just basically makes three colored orbs count as matching for all of your driven and slasher units so honestly it's a really really strong uh, special ability uh, you probably won't use it in too many situations but in situations where uh, bosses might give you either quick decks or strength orbs this guy would be absolutely awesome because then you can just make them count as matching and he would be absolutely awesome to run on any driven or slasher team Moving on to the next unit is Momonga Monster Slash Navy Vice Admiral. So this guy here is a 5 star unit and is a Dex Cerebral Slasher character and a max level at level 99. He has 2342 HP, 1296 attack and 330 recovery. He has 30 cost and 4 socket spots which you actually can use uh, to socket uh, from the Buster Cool Raid boss like the last guy on Iguma as well. Uh, one good thing about this batch I just realized as well is that every single unit in this batch has farmable sockets so that is actually really really amazing so his captain ability will boost the attack of cerebral and slasher characters by 2.5 times and then reduce damage received by 10% now you'll only get that boost and damage reduction if there is a strength dex quick int and psi character on your crew so if as long as you have one of every color on your crew then this guy is an amazing captain uh, boosting two types by 2.5 and then also getting a 10% damage reduction so if you partner it up with another momonga it's 10% and then times by 10% it's really, really strong, and it's it's a 2.5 captain as well, uh, which is actually a really, really nice multiplier. Uh, if it was 2.25, probably wouldn't be used as much, but he's actually a really, really solid captain that can be used in many different dungeons. Now, moving on to his special ability, which is one of the best things about this guy, is the fact that he is a conditional booster, uh, a 1.5 times conditional booster. So, let's go over it real, real quick. So... It does 15 times uh, his character's attack as damage, so that's basic stuff. But then, it will boost the attack against delayed enemies by 1.5 times for 2 turns. Now, being a conditional boost, meaning that it will stack with type boosts and orb boosts. So this guy is an amazing unit to put on slashes and cerebral teams alike. Now, the reason why he's actually one of the most sought after units in this batch is because you can actually throw him on a crocodile legend team. And because you have 3-day 2-year Robin, who already delays, you can bring this guy 
fight and he adds an extra 50% damage to your crew's ultimately damage output. Now, uh, when you actually calc it, this guy on Crocodile Teams makes their damage go through the roof. He is an amazing addition to any any Cerebral or any Slasher team as long as they have a Delayer and as long as they can delay, then adds an extra 50% damage on top of all of that damage that they are already going to be doing to the enemy. Moving on to the third unit of this batch is the Grand Staff Officer Suru, the Navy HQ Vice Admiral. So she is a quick cerebral shooter character and a max level at level 99. She has nearly 2000 HP, 1252 attack and 419 recovery. Now she has 30 cost and 4 socket spots and she is socketable from her own Fortnite. Now let's move on to her captain ability. So it will heal 1.5 times her recovery at the end of each turn for every good that you hit and then heals 10% of her recovery at the end of each turn every time you hit a perfect so uh, it's actually not a terrible captain ability can be partnered up with pretty much any unit in the game uh, it, it's just a rainbow captain it doesn't boost your attack by any amount which is kind of the downside very similar to Corazon however Corazon actually provides a little bit more damage output as, as he does boost your attack of your crew so that does help a lot uh, but having Suru here that doesn't do that is kind of a letdown I guess she can be used for some zombie teams I guess but it, probably not the best captain ability, honestly. Uh, you're better off just using like a friend Corazon if you really need some sort of captain ability like that. So now let's move on to her special, which will start at 21 turns and will max at 17 turns. Deals 10 hits of random quick damage to random enemies, which is not a bad ability. And then it will boost the attack of all characters by 1.5 times for one turn. Now, if you guys own Legend Scene Goku, you guys would know that that is the exact same special that he has. Uh, not exactly the same, is that she'll do 10 hits of damage, whereas Sengoku does a large chunk of damage. But they both boost the attack of all characters, no matter what class or type, uh, by 1.5 times for one turn. So, her special is actually pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's actually a pretty good special, uh, if you really want to wait 17 turns to use that. There are definitely other specials that will help out certain teams a lot more. Because she is a quick unit, you probably are going to be using, uh, like, NL for that sort of thing. And then she's a cerebral unit, you've got Crocodile for that. And it, she's also a shooter, and you're pretty much never going to use her as your shooter booster in a shooter team. You're going to be using Zephyr so in most cases she's probably not the best she's probably the weakest of this badge but definitely not a terrible unit compared to other rare recruits in the game next unit on the agenda is Garp the Fist Navy HQ Vice Admiral this guy is an amazing unit so he is a strength powerhouse fighter character and at max level at level 99 he has 2110 HP 1474 attack and 290 recovery. So he does have 30 cost and 4 socket spots and he is socketable from the raid boss Garp. So that is actually really good and it is upcoming in the Clash of Clashes this weekend. So if you guys pull any of these units then the Buster Cool units or this guy you can socket him out this weekend. So that is awesome. So his captain ability very simple just provides a 2.5 times attack boost to strength and psi units. Not a bad captain ability at all. Pretty strong, actually. Just a 2.5 boost to two colors is really, really strong. Now, his special ability, which is why this guy is as good as he is. So, it maxes at 17 turns. And what it does is it deals 30 times this character's attack in strength damage to all enemies that will also ignore damage negating abilities and barriers. So, this actual special that does damage actually goes through barriers no matter what barrier they have. So, a really, really strong uh, dealing damage dealing special. Then, on top of that, it will also delay all enemies for one turn, and then reduce the defense of all enemies by 80% for one turn. Absolutely amazing. His special ability is just insane. Now, if you actually compare this guy to Suru, this guy's just so much better, because they both max at 17 turns. However, Garb just does so many more things that will benefit your crew a lot more. He just does a lot of damage that goes through barriers. He delays and also reduces enemy defense. An amazing unit, probably one of the best of the batch. Now, the last unit of this batch before we talk about the brand new legend is Kobe, the Navy HQ Master Chief Petty Officer, who is a sci fighter driven character. And at max level, at level 99, he has 2024 HP, 1151 attack, and 414 recovery. Now, he does have 30 cost and he does have 4 socket spots. Now, this guy is actually really easy to socket because he has his own Fortnite and he also has the Colosseum unit as well. Now, both of those you can actually farm using times 2 stamina, times 2 rewards. So this guy is actually one of the easiest units to socket out of this entire batch So that is one big positive that Kobe has uh, compared to the other units of the batch 
So let's go ahead and start talking about the Captain ability. So it will go ahead and boost the attack of all characters by 2.5 times after the second perfect. And then after the fifth perfect that you hit, you will get 3.5 times attack to all characters. Not a bad Captain ability at all. Can be partnered up with anyone that you really, really want. So, you know, it's not too bad at all. But now let's go ahead and talk about his special ability. Now, the thing about this Kobe is that his special ability is very, very unique. And I believe he's the only character in the game that actually does it. So, his special is multi-stage. And obviously, the higher the stage, the better. In most cases, you want to be using the stage 3 special. So, what it does is it will max at 18 turns. And if you're below 3000 HP, then it will remove completely the anti-healing debuff which is the debuff that Akainu gives you uh, on the raid boss so this is an amazing ability and will help out people considerably when farming that raid boss not only that is that people in the future are going to have that ability and especially in an upcoming training forest that is going to be a thing so having Kobe for that reason is going to be very very important but not only does it remove it, it will also heal 13 times this character's recovery on top of that so not even a bad ability at all, getting 13 times his uh, recovery healed and also just completely removing the anti-healing debuff. However, you do have to be below 3000 HP, which is, you know, a little bit of a harsh requirement, but it is what it is. You are completely removing a very, very annoying debuff. So overall, a really, really solid unit to pull in the upcoming Sugo Fest. <laughs> And now we've finally arrived at the last unit of this badge being Sakazuki. Now this man uh, is very, very, very powerful. Like the amount of damage output that this guy provides is freaking crazy. So let's get into it real quick. Let's overview this man. He is obviously the 6 star unit of this badge. He is a strength driven powerhouse character. And at max level, at level 99, he has some of the most craziest stats we've ever seen. 3,500 HP, 1,600 attack, and 99 recovery. So with max cotton candies, he has 4,000 health and 1,800 attack. Like, hello! That is the craziest stat line I've ever seen on any character in One Piece Treasure Cruise. The health is through the roof. The attack is the highest in the game. Like, nothing comes close to it. That is crazy powerful. And then a recovery of 99, but you know what? With health and attack that powerful, it's not like you're really going to care about the recoveries that that much. So that is crazy by itself. So he has 55 costs, and he only has 4 socket spots, which is kind of fair because he has really easily farmable sockets. So it is what it is. However, now let's talk about his captain ability. So his captain ability will boost the attack of everyone by 2.25. However, if they have a Strength Orb, they get an additional 1.75 times attack boost. So it ends up being around about a 3.94 or 3.93 attack boost if they have a Strength Orb. And that's on anyone. As long as anyone has a Strength Orb, they'll get nearly 4 times attack for free, which is crazy. However, on top of that, it boosts the chance of getting Strength Orb. So... If you guys are very familiar with Stronghold Shanks, he does the same sort of thing uh, with the orbs being that it gives you a high chance of getting colored orbs. Now, I believe, from what I've been told, Akainu's chance of getting strength orbs is a little bit lower than Stronghold Shanks getting Psy orbs because, you know, could you imagine the amount of orbs that Shanks gets but add like four times attack for each orb that he gets? That's kind of crazy. So I think that what they did was is they kind of tuned it down. So I don't think he gets as many orbs as Shanks. However, the predominance uh, of getting, of like the, the chances of getting the strength orbs is still quite high, like a lot higher than getting any other orb. So that is crazy in and in of itself. That's crazy getting four times attack as long as they have a strength orb. Now let's talk about his special ability. Now his special ability is not really some not, not really something that a lot of people bring up. His special ability is good, but it's not really what makes this guy so good. It's mainly his captain ability is why people want this guy. But his special ability is not bad whatsoever. So it will go ahead and it will deal large typeless damage to all enemies and then randomize non-strength orbs. So that is actually pretty useful in conjunction with his captain ability. You know, it'll keep the strength orbs that you have so you aren't losing your attack boost and then it will shuffle them and because with his captain ability it will boost the chance of getting strength orbs and because it is a randomization you have higher chances once again to get more strength orbs so it is pretty decent and then on top of that it will boost the attack of characters with a cost of 50 or higher by 1.75 times for two turns so this basically means is that if you run like a full team of raid bosses or legends then you use this special then everyone's going to be getting a 1.75 times attack boost it is a really really strong special really 
actually really good. It maxes at 18 turns, so it is quite high, but for the special that it is, it is kind of fair to be an 18 turn special. Very, very strong, and honestly, just one of the best characters in the game. As I said at the start of the video, uh, a lot of people are, are fighting, you know, whether which one's better, which one's better, Sakazuki or Time Skip Luffy. It really just does come down to your opinion in the end of the day. I personally think Luffy is better. A lot of other people will think that Akainu is better. They are both amazing characters. So no matter which one you get or which one you have or which one you're aiming to get, they're both freaking amazing. And they both can clear everything in the game uh, with the right subunits. So that is just something to uh, just something to note on, that, that they're both freaking amazing. But this guy is just an absolute beast and uh, hopefully some of you guys out there get really really lucky and pull him in the upcoming Sugo Fest.